Hello there, Sagittarius. This is going to be your monthly tarot reading for April 2017. This is for all Sagittarians born under the sun, moon, or rising sign. All right, and I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot deck for this spread. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We have the Two of Cups as the overall energy, the Empress, the Challenge and Lesson. Queen of Wands as the suggested approach, the Tower as the focus, the outcome, the King of Wands. Interesting. All right. So, and if I need to, I will pull clarifiers. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it, Sagittarius. So, overall energy, you have the Two of Cups. Obviously, there is a relationship involved. I'm getting a lot of stuff going on. I'm getting heavily pregnancies for one or i'll give you multiple reasons why i see pregnancy well we have the two of cups joining together um two energies becoming one these two fluids here the cups feminine fluids um male fluids then we have the empress who usually she denotes birth pregnancy traditional tarot deck she is pregnant um on my deck she does look a bit pregnant um we have the queen of wands and the king of wands wands energies do denote sexual and creative energies creative energy with the empress as well the tower can represent sexual energy as well um erection <laughs> um orgasms um semen so I, I usually see this in spreads where there's a pregnancy or an accident that happens during sex. So there's a lot of strong indications that there's possible pregnancy here. So I feel like there is a fear here for you, um, whether you're male or female, that you're either pregnant or you've gotten someone pregnant as this being your challenge, okay? A fear of something that you've created something that has happened. Um, this is very strong. So I would say majority of you, this may be your situation that if this has not yet happened in April, you will be very fertile. And it's funny because April um, is like the fertility energy with the eggs and the bunny rabbits and things like that. Um, usually represents fertility with spring being new beginnings, births. Something here could also be a relationship that sparks very um, passionately with someone that you've come to meet. You've joined someone and there's a fear to come together and create something to nurture this. Maybe because you've gone through some type of past disappointments in relationships and love. But there is definitely something that could blossom, something that could grow. But majority of you, I will say that it, I've... I am getting that it's a pregnancy, that if there's a pregnancy scare here. Some of you may have, you know, may have gotten pregnant recently and you're just now finding out about it. With your suggested approach being the Queen of Wands, I feel like um, those of you who are insecure, who are in fear of the outcome of a situation, whether it be this pregnancy or whether it be starting a new with someone, whether you're in a committed relationship or you're just out dating, I feel like your suggested approach with this is to know that you have control over the situation. Um, the black cat here represents subconscious energy and intuition. So I feel like you need to trust in what you know, not so much on the outer appearance of things, but I feel like if your intuition's telling you that you are pregnant with something or that you want to give birth to a new relationship or a new beginning. To trust in that and flow with that. With the, the wands in the queen's hand tells me that she's in control of what happens to her sexually. what Because you allow that person to enter in. If you're a male, um, I feel like you've given up that power to this woman. Um, you know, you've moved towards that. You've allowed this person Full control of what has happened if that makes sense with your focus being the tower I feel like the focus is gonna be on being safe okay for some of you 
if this is a new beginning with someone, I feel like it's pay attention to how this person has shifted and changed your world, whether you perceive it to be a positive change or a negative. Nonetheless, I feel like it's a major shift that's occurred. If this is a pregnancy situation or scare, I feel like you need to be cautious, um, protecting yourself, whether you're the male and you need to protect yourself, obviously, or you're the female, you also need to make sure that you're involving yourself with someone who's careful and, you know, use protection, obviously, but to prevent a pregnancy. But if it's already has happened, I feel like you need to focus on what changes are going to happen because I feel like this is going to be a big change in your world if you are pregnant. The outcome you have is the the king of, of wands. So actually the wands represent fire signs. So you and your significant other, this could be a fire sign as well, such as yourself. They could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person that you're dealing with. But the outcome, I feel like you seeing uh, the situation more clearly, whether it's a revelation of I need to be more careful or I know what I want now, I'm going to follow my passions or I see where I might have slipped up or went wrong because he's looking directly at the wand, which to me is like a phallus in sexual cases. The six of swords, the devil, sexual energy again, with the nine of wands. There's a lot of passion here. Um, might have to have that conversation with this person for things to move forward because you might be stuck karmically with someone or this could be a karmic situation or it could be some type of sexual arrangement or agreement. But nonetheless, there's a lot of passion. I just feel like if you're not trying to knock someone up or you're not trying to get knocked up, I'm, I feel like you need to be very careful um, if that's not your aim because I feel like you're very fertile. This energy screams pregnancy. Um, for others of you, I feel like this is a passionate new beginning with someone. It's very strong. It's very intense. There will be some heavy conversation. This could even be sexting with the devil card here next to it. The nine of wands, a lot of passion, a lot of sex. Okay. Um, almost feeling like um, a slave to it. I feel almost like can't say no. So there's this, these two wands, this couple, the queen and the king of wands together in the in the spread. You definitely are very attracted to each other. So be you know mindful that that's gonna there's gonna be a lot of passion. But if you're not trying to get knocked up or you're not trying to get someone else knocked up, be careful and protective with the tower card here. All right. So that's your reading, Sagittarius. I hope that this reading. Um, you'll find it helpful and beneficial, possibly give you some clarity throughout the month. And as always, I'm sending you much love. And until next month, peace.